Well, the buzz is that there's the potential to see the northern lights. Now, that's always possible across New England when we have an active uh, solar year. And we are actually getting close to the peak of the solar maximum, they call it, in their 11-year stretches. Now, when the sun starts getting these what we call sunspots, sometimes they're small, but sometimes they're very large. In fact, there is a large cluster of sunspots, about 15 to 16 times the size of the Earth, uh, that you can actually see if you still have your solar eclipse glasses and you can get a break of the sunshine, you can go out and take a look at the sun and you could possibly see that uh, that dark spot. And that's where these solar flares are happening from. At the moment, it is pointed right at the Earth and it continues to just launch these flares out toward us. Now, as all of these protons and electrons and plasma make their way toward our magnetic field, it'll get sucked kind of into the poles where the magnetic field is at its weakest. And this can lead to what's called a geomagnetic storm. Depending on how intense the storm is, determines who gets to see the northern lights. Most of the time, it's areas closest to the poles. But if it's intense enough, solar lights can be seen uh, or northern lights can be seen a lot farther south. Now, yesterday they issued a geomagnetic storm watch. This is uh, the Space Weather Prediction Center, which, believe it or not, is actually part of the National Weather Service. It's the first time they issued this watch since January of 05. Now, this is for the potential of a severe or extreme level geomagnetic storm. We call that a G4 or a G5. Whenever we get to those levels, and the what's called K index gets to an eight or nine. Auroras can be seen down into parts of California, down into parts of the deep south. The question is, will it be clear? Because that's another issue. So now we're trying to figure out the timing of this solar storm, which is very difficult. Think of weather forecasts 30 years ago. That's kind of where space weather forecasts are now. So it looks like Saturday morning is when we're going to reach that severe level here in our region. Uh, with a K index of 8 to 9, we could definitely see northern lights here in western Mass. If you want to go check it out, between the hours of 2 and 5 a.m. is your best bet. Skies may actually start partially or even fully clearing out at that time, which would be fantastic. It'll be chilly. We'll be in the 40s, but it will stay dry and we'll have a decent shot. Now, most likely it'll be something like this. Mind you, be away from the city lights. That's the key. Close to Springfield, the light pollution is awful and it makes it very difficult to see the northern lights, even with a significant storm. The farther you are away from city lights, the better shot you have. Uh, this is in the background here is a photo from the last time we had a big solar storm, but this was seen with a long exposure camera. For your eyes to actually see something like that, it has to be pretty intense intense. So make sure you find a big open dark sky, clear, look toward the north, look toward the horizon. That's how you're going to be able to see maybe a little bit of color out there if we are lucky. We'll see. Right now, definitely not good viewing conditions, but the rain is holding off, staying mostly off to our west. Chance for a spot shower this evening will be dry for the rest of tonight. Partial clearing happening late tonight, most likely after midnight. If we can get skies to clear out again, that's best case scenario, but if the cloud cover stays tough, we may not see much of anything. Tomorrow, though, we are expecting to see at least some sunshine in the morning, followed by a chilly afternoon, kind of like today. Temperatures should get back to around 60. A spot shower is possible, but not necessarily likely. Monday is looking, or excuse me, Sunday for Mother's Day is looking very similar with a shower or two possible. Then next week, we remain unsettled, but do turn warmer. Temperatures should get back into the 70s. Chris and Abby.